It was supposed to be a relaxing weekend getaway. Emily and her friends had rented a cabin in the woods, far away from the stresses of the city. But as they settled in for their first night, strange things began to happen. They heard odd noises outside, and Emily kept catching glimpses of something moving in the trees. The others brushed it off as just their imaginations, but Emily couldn't shake the feeling that something was out there. The next day, they decided to explore the surrounding woods. They found an old, abandoned cabin, and Emily felt drawn to it. As they approached, they heard a woman's voice coming from inside. They cautiously entered, but found no one there. But as they left, Emily felt something grab her ankle. She turned to see a pair of hands emerging from the ground, grabbing at her. They ran back to their cabin, terrified. That night, they heard a woman's voice calling out from the woods, beckoning them to come closer. Emily was convinced it was the same voice she had heard in the abandoned cabin. Against her friend's protests, she ventured into the woods alone to investigate. She found herself in a clearing where a woman stood, surrounded by a ring of fire. The woman was chanting in a language Emily didn't recognize, and Emily realized too late that she had stumbled upon a dark ritual. The woman turned to Emily, and Emily felt a sudden pain in her head. She blacked out. When she came to, she was back in the cabin, with her friends gathered around her. They told her that they had found her unconscious in the woods, and that she had been screaming incoherently. Emily knew that she had seen something that night, something that had taken hold of her mind. And she knew that it wasn't over yet. Every night, the woman's voice called out to her from the woods, and Emily knew that eventually, she would be unable to resist its call.